one of the most common issues that any RVer has is dealing with trailer tires. I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook and things like that of how do you change them and what do you do and all those sort of things. So uh, what I'm going to go through today is our trailer tire repair kit. Everybody should have one of these. That way it doesn't matter if you're in your big camp trailer or you're pulling a smaller trailer or whatever, you have the stuff you need. We pull lots of different trailers, whether it's boating, taking the fifth wheel, taking the side-by-side, -side, all those sort of things. So now we have our kit that we can always just throw in the truck. For years, I have just borrowed my dad's kit. And the other day he said, I think it's time that you finally get your own kit. So I went through and made a list of what he had and I'm gonna just share it with you and show you how to use some of these things. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. So, the first thing you need, a tote, a good tote, closing lid. Um, I had to get this size to actually fit everything and it still barely fits. I'm gonna have to organize a little bit better, but get yourself a good tote. One of the great things to have in your kit is a little foam pad. So kneeling here on this gravel, not that big of a deal. Also, make sure you know what lug size you have. For this trailer, it's a three quarter and I have tons of these star wrenches. I have like four or five of them. The problem is they don't fit with these wheels. So I need a thin walled socket to actually fit on these lugs. So make sure that you have a few different sockets, um, the, the nice deep ones, that way you can get down on there um, and get those wheels off if you have to. One of the things I like to throw in before I go is my battery powered impact gun, but it's not powerful enough to really sink on a, a set of lugs to the wheel. So nice size breaker bar. That way with a nice size breaker bar, you can tighten or loosen. You can get them cranked on there as good as you should. Um, you could get it like a fancier torque wrench or all that, but a good size breaker bar should get you kind of where you need to go. Nice thing about this one, I can add more to it. So I just take one of my extensions for my socket set, put on there, get even more leverage. Um, I probably won't ever need to do that, maybe to loosen them, but not to tighten them or else I'm gonna end up breaking a stud or something like that. Now, you can't change a tire on your trailer that's blown out if you don't have a way to lift it. Uh, sometimes you can use your leveling systems, those sort of things, but I like to have my eight ton jack. It's plenty to lift this trailer here or any other trailer I have depending on the weight of your rig you might need a heavier one but my absolute favorite is this it makes it so much easier on these trailers just to pull up on or back up on on any dual axle trailer or triple axle this is super handy because you just pull your good tire up on here it lifts the trailer off the ground then you can remove everything with relative ease instead of pumping up a jack and crawling underneath and all those sort of things, you just pull up on it. So if you can get this, do it. Um, I've seen them made out of wood or blocks or all that. I just did this because it's a little bit lighter. Grease, lithium grease, um, that way, and brake cleaner. These things can help you out, uh, break those lug nuts loose, clean up the brakes, all those sort of things that you're gonna need rags you're gonna get greasy um, ch changing tires is filthy especially if they're blown out you're gonna get black all over it's nice to have a few rags with you just in case orange goop um, there's lots of different versions of this but it's just waterless hand soap that breaks down the grease and you can really you know get cleaned up after dealing with tire and all those other things that, that you're gonna end up dealing with If you need it, fix a flat. This is tire repair, but it's fix a flat. It can get you out of a situation if you need to. I don't like to use fix a flat because it gets all that goop in your tire, but there's just times when 
you need to use it. So it's good to have for those occasions. Also, a little plug kit. I've never actually used one of these. That's why I stole the package. But I've seen it used before, and I guess in the situation, maybe I could get it to work. But I have it if I need it. Two little flashlights. Because you don't know if it's going to be light or not when you blow out that tire. So might need a little bit extra light. Headlamp would also be a great thing. I just didn't want a $15, $20, $30 headlamp rattling around in here. Uh, never getting used. So Pull strap. Just in case. I could make a joke that I drive a Ford, so it's a good thing that I have a tow strap. You could take that as for towing other people or for getting it towed. That's your prerogative, but tow strap. And for safety, orange vests. I got two in here. That way, if I have somebody else out there helping me or if they're walking back to, you know, kind of flag traffic, those sort of things. Typically, if I ever have a tire issue, I make Kara sit in the truck because I don't want her out there risking getting hit or anything else like that as much as she wants to help. It's more of a just stay out of the way kind of thing. Um, it's dangerous to be on the side of the road. I have road flares in the trailer. Um, I need to get some of those little orange pop-up uh, things to put in here. Maybe next time I'm at Harbor Freight or O'Reilly or wherever I'll get some of those. But orange vest. And that's basically it. Nice little kit, but this should make it so I can change my tire in any situation. Uh, I mean, there's always something that could go wrong that's worse, but for a simple flat change, putting on the spare, this kit will get you there, and you won't be running all over looking for where you put what wrench and where all the other stuff is and where that can of WD-40 is and all that. It's all right here, consolidated. And if you're like us and tow multiple trailers, you just pack it with you. So when we go out on the Can-Am riding, this is in the back of the truck. When we go boating, this is in the back of the truck. When we go in the trailer, this is in the trailer. It's always there. And it, it can save a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of heartache. I see way too many people complaining on different forums and things like that, that they are waiting on AAA or Good Sam because they got a flat tire. You can fix your own. There's no reason to sit in the middle of nowhere waiting for them to come and help you or pay hundreds of dollars for a tow when you just need to have your kit with you. For just over a hundred bucks, you can have this whole thing and none of this stuff's ever gonna go bad. It's, it's gonna last forever. I mean, you, you might run out of stuff, but you'll have it and you'll know how to use it. Once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. Comment down below if there's anything I forgot that you would you would put in the bin. Um, that way I can add it in. Like, subscribe, all those sort of things. And remember, enjoy your weekend.